Channel setup in Cascade Surgical Studio is similar to what it was in Classic. The input editor will show all available inputs separated by amp and pod if using a Cascade, Pro, or Elite system, or by module if using an IMX. Surgical Studio has a built-in database of electrode sites commonly used for interoperative monitoring. After clicking on any input, a drop-down menu will appear listing all of those sites. Simply begin typing the desired electrode location, and the list will filter down to relevant sites including common aliases. Clicking on the desired site will choose it to be assigned to the input. If the site is part of an active reference pair, such as an EMG muscle, the other half of the pair will automatically be added as the next input. This can be manually changed to a different reference if needed. If electrode inputs need to be rearranged, simply drag and drop the input to a new location. If it is already populated, the inputs will be swapped. The channel editor can be used in the same way as in Cascade Classic by clicking on a channel and then choosing active and reference electrodes using the number buttons on the inputs. A second option now is to click on the active or reference electrode on a channel and choose the desired input from the drop down menu that appears. In the Modes window, click on Add a new mode to the procedure to get started. A box will appear with two halves. On the left side, you can create a new mode. Choose the correct modality type and click OK. We'll discuss the right side in a moment. To add channels to a mode, click on the number button next to the channel on the left. It will be added to the bottom of the channel list in Mode Setup. To reorder the channels, click on the channel you want to move, and use the arrow buttons above the channels to move up or down. Click the X button to delete the channel from the mode. Below the channels, you will see settings specific to the mode type you created. Adjust these as desired. To add more modes to a test, Click the plus button next to the tab for modes at the top of the screen. Frequently used modes can be saved for later use in another test. For example, you can save an SSCP mode and automatically populate the inputs, channels, and settings in a new test. To save a mode, click on Export CadLink if using a CadLink server, or Export Disk if not. Type in an appropriate descriptive name of the mode, and hit OK or Save. To autofill a previously saved mode, go to Mode Setup and add a new mode. If you are using CadLink, choose a previously exported mode on the right. If you are not, use the Import Disk button on the bottom and choose the mode file. All the inputs, outputs, channels, filters, cursors, stimulators, and other settings from the mode will be added to the test. If the inputs or outputs already exist in the test, they will be used, not duplicated. Click the Views button on the left to adjust your display views in the test. Click Add a new window to the current view to get started. Click the checkbox next to any windows you would like to display in this view and click OK. Make sure to include the mode controls as well. The windows will appear stacked with the mode controls taking up the full view behind the other windows. As you drag undocked windows into place, you will see the locations the windows can be snapped to. The snap locations at the edges of the screen will dock a window to that portion of the view and move other windows out of the way. For example, docking to the right will move all other windows to the left to make room. 
snap locations in the middle of another docked window, such as the mode window, will dock the new window to the respective edge of the already docked window. Again, other windows docked in this way will resize to make room automatically. Using the center dock location on top of a previously docked window will cause those windows to be nested or share a location on the view. These can be switched into view using tabs below the nested window. Use these docking techniques together to create a clean view. Resizing windows that have been linked by docking will resize other windows to accommodate any changes. Alternatively, you can undock all windows and place them as in Cascade Classic by clicking the Float All button near the top left of the toolbar. All windows will now be placed freehand with no docking. If you would like to dock the windows in place after adjusting, click the Dock All button. To add additional views, click the Add View button in the toolbar. To add more windows to an existing view, click the Add Window button. Mode windows have several views available. Click the gear in the top right corner of a mode window to show the settings. View choices vary by mode, but can include averaged, live, waterfall, cursor table, cursor trend, and noise, among others. Display settings are also available in this menu, such as display gain, sweep, trends, cursors, and labels.